we were discussing about drugs used for the treatment of diarrhea in part 1 video we had discussed introduction to the diarrhea and different treatment approaches like maintenance of fluid therapy or fluid depletion and maintenance of nutrition and drug therapy and we had discussed about different pharmacology of antimicrobial drugs and probiotics in previous video so in this video we will discuss the drugs which are used for inflammatory bowel diseases and non specific anti diarrheal drug as part of drug therapy in case of diarrheal treatment so coming to the third classification of drugs which are used in drug therapy in case of diarrhea that is the drugs for inflammatory bowel diseases so this is a condition of inflammatory reactions or inflammatory disease in the gi tract gastrointestinal tract which are presented as, as ulcerative colitis and other condition in gi system so the different drugs here used are 5 amino salicylic acid compound these are a type of uh, sulfonamide type antibiotics that uh, detail the mechanism of action and pharmacology we will discuss in the pharmacology of sulfonamide drugs so the different uh, compounds of 5 amino salicylic acids are sulfur salicin or sulfur sale azo sulfo pyridine pyridine and mesalicin oxalicin and balsalicides are different compounds which are used for the Uh, treatment of inflammatory bowel diseases from the group of 5 amino salicylic acid then we can use uh, specific and anti inflammatory agents like corticosteroid like prednisolones the detailed pharmacology we will discuss in the corticosteroids in uh, another video then immunosuppressants the that we will discuss uh, the dif uh, detailed pharmacology of immunosuppressant as a separate topic like azathioprine and methotrexate and cyclosporin all these drugs will inhibit the cell mediated as well as antibody mediated immune response in the body thereby we can use this immunosuppressant in case of inflammatory bowel diseases and also we can use tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors like infliximab so this is an uh, monoclonal antibody which is used for the treatment of inflammatory bowel diseases so these are the different drugs which are used for the inflammatory bowel diseases which is an inflammatory condition in the gastrointestinal tract and it will present as different conditions like ulcerative colitis there will be an ulcer in the stomach as well as uh, in uh, colon so that is the condition of inflammatory diseases all this condition may leads to diarrhea so by treating the inflammatory bowel diseases we can treat the cause for diarrhea due to this condition so these are the different drugs for ibd now coming to uh, another group of drug which are used for drug therapy in case of diarrhea that is non specific anti diarrheals like absorbent or adsorbent and the secretory agent and motility as we mentioned before the main reason for diarrhea may be due to the increasing secretion so by using anti secretory drugs we can reduce the uh, causes of uh, diarrhea or it may be due to increasing motility so we can use anti motility drug to reduce the motility and to reduce the evacuation of bowel to treat the diarrhea so these are the some non specific anti diarrheal drugs now coming to first group of non specific anti anti diarrheal drug is absorbent or adsorbent these are the drugs will which will adsorb or absorb the content in the bowels thereby it will prevent the evacuation of this content as in liquid form or a fluid form so we can use this type of absorbent or adsorbent for the treatment of diarrhea by forming colloidal bulk forming by bulks in the bowels and different substances which are used as an absorbent or adsorbent are esphagula and methyl cellulose which are used for the drug therapy for diarrhea now 
we can use anti secretory agents as we mentioned before the diarrhea may be due to increasing secretion in the gastrointestinal tract so by using an anti secretory drugs we can reduce the secretion thereby we can reduce the evacuation of uh, bowels and thereby we can treat the diarrhea in non specific manner so these are the some anti secretory drugs that are usually used as an uh, used for the drug therapy in case of uh, diarrhea resicardotil it's an enclaf inhibitors which will prove, prevent the degradation of endogenous encephalin which are mainly uh, a opioid receptor agonist so by uh, using this opioid receptor agonist we can reduce the secretion and thereby we can reduce the evacuation as well as we can uh, treat the diarrhea also we can use bismuth subsalicylate these are uh, the drugs which will act by decreasing prostaglandin synthesis in the intestinal mucosa thereby it will reduce the chlorine secretion and it also have some prophylactic value in travelers diarrhea also we can use anti cholinergic drugs like atropine to reduce the secretion in the gastrointestinal tract thereby we can reduce the bubble motility and we can also reduce the secretions we can also use octreoids and opioids uh, like uh, codeine also can be used to reduce the secret, uh, secretion in the gastrointestinal tract to treat diarrhea with non specific manner and last drugs that are used for the treatment of diarrhea by non specific anti diarrheal drug is anti motility drugs so these are the drugs which will reduces the contraction of smooth muscles in the gastrointestinal tract thereby it we can reduces the propulsive movement and thereby we can diminish the intestinal uh, evacuation also so uh, the opioid drugs which will increase small bowel tones and segmenting activity we can reduce the repulsive movement and we can diminish the intestinal secretion while enhancing the absorption of the drug into the body so usually during the diarrhea we, uh, the food will not get absorbed into the blood due to it because it will easily or it will be evacuated very fastly without absorbing the nutrients of the food into the blood so by using anti motility drugs the mo movement of the uh, substance in the gastrointestinal tract will be get reduced thereby it will get some time to get the uh, get to absorb the nutrient into the blood from the gastrointestinal tract and the different drugs which are used as an anti motility drugs are codeine which is uh, we had already discussed about codeine pharmacology of codeine in the opioid analgesics then phenoxy oxalate this is a synthetic opioid which is chemically related to pethidine and loperamide this is the one of the important drug which is available in the market as an anti diarrheal drug by acting as an anti motility action this is an opioid analog which uh, with a major peripheral mu uh, mu opioid and additional weak anti cholinergic property appo idile namaku market la available aayittulla or anti diarrheal drug ennu parayunnathu loperamide aanu okay loperamide uh, gastrointestinal tract ile motility korachathinte bhagam korakkunnathinte bhagam aayittu diarrhea ne treat cheyan vendi mathram use cheyunnathanu idu namaku oru kaaranavashalum diarrhea inde cause ariyade namaku use cheyan pattilla aa cause endaanu endu kondaanu diarrhea undayathu ennalladinte cause ariyade nammal ഏത് ഡ്രഗ് വെച്ച് ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടും കാര്യമില്ല ഇതൊക്കെ നോൺ സ്പെസിഫിക് ആണ് കുറച്ച് സമയത്തിന് നമുക്ക് ആ ഡയറിയനെ ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ട്രാവലിങ്ങിന്റെ സമയത്ത് നമുക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം എന്ന് മാത്രമാണ് ഇതിനുള്ള ആകെയുള്ള ഒരു അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നോൺ സ്പെസിഫിക് ആൻഡ് ഡയറിയൽ ഡ്രഗ്സിന്റെ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഡ്രഗ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ യൂസ്ഡ് ഫോർ ദ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഡയറിയ സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു note that uh, we have to remember three point we cannot use drug alone for the treatment of diarrhea we have to treat the depletion of fluid due to the diarrhea we have to maintain the nutrition due to the uh, diarrhea and along with these two we can use specific antimicrobial agents or non specific anti uh, microbial agents or probiotics or 
uh, drugs for in, uh, inflammatory bowel diseases or non specific uh, uh, and antidiarrheal drugs like adsorbent or absorbent or anti secretory agents or anti motility agents. Oh, hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.